Well, a very good afternoon and welcome back here to the Imagine Cruising 2023 World Indoor Bowls Championships live from Hopton on Sea at the fabulous Potters Resorts. Well, the next game up for you is another World Open pairs and it's Mervyn King and David Gawley MBE facing Jason Choi and Ken Chan of Hong Kong. Let's have a look what we have for the rest of today. Following this game is uh, Ruti Gilor and Zvika Hadar from Israel taking on Damien Dubler and Dan Salmon from Wales. And for your enjoyment this evening is Mark Dawes and Jamie Chesney who face Jamie Walker and Perry Martin. Officials for this next game, well our marker is Alan Thornhill and the umpire is Sue Mates. Let's go live now to the portable rink and join a rather dashing Jack Jenkins. Thank you very much Jason. Our first pair out for us this afternoon both have several national titles. One player is a former World Pairs and World Singles qualifier. The other is making his debut here at Potters for a WBT event. All the way from Hong Kong, give it up for Jason Choi and Ken Chan. Their opponents this afternoon, we have a formidable pairing consisting of a former world champion. They both hold several WBT titles and are a previous pair's world champions. Please welcome out number eight in the world, Mervyn King and number 13, David Gawley, MBE. to hand you back up to the commentary box with David Bolt and Jason Parkinson. Well, thank you very much, Jack, once again. Thanks Sorry, for joining us this afternoon here at the Imagine Cruising team. World Open Championships. In the box, Mr. Bolt. Hello. Hello. Great to be here. Nice to see some balls this morning. Yep, in green, Ken Chan, the lead, and Jason Choi skipping, representing Hong Kong. Ken Chan Jack actually Lens. lives in Manchester now. Meters. He actually plays indoor with myself, actually, at York. Jason Choi, well, he's one of the up and coming stars of the Hong Kong Bowls Association. Taking on, well, these two probably don't even need an introduction, been around a long time. Mervyn King and David Gourlay, this is David's I think, 26th appearance now in, in these championships. Is there nobody else available in Lancashire for Ken? Was that clear with Jason? <laughs> oh, you've started already. <laughs> yeah, dear. Begging he was, begging. <laughs> begging me for bird seed. This morning, Jason, but I think the standards very solid again this year. And uh, but you would have you would have thought Sam and Louis were, were, were definitely definitely favourites going at the game. But the two boys played really well. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Depends how you look at it. Like like you say, you know, they probably were favourites, but. No matter who you play, you've just Wondering. got your balls near, aren't you? Exactly. I always say you play the balls in front of you. You don't really play, especially for someone who's maybe not so good. You're playing like what, what's known as people, the, the, the superb players. To me, I just play whatever balls are in front of me. I don't play the name. Exactly. I think you can sometimes get a bit put off with the name. Don't matter whether Joe Bloggs puts a six inch bowl away or, you know, a world champion puts a ball six inch away. It's still six inch away. Yeah. I think you just got to 
that's just I think it's the which way certain people approach a game. Lucky. Oh, that's a great ball. Good ball for nothing. Jason will probably draw on Ken's experience off this portal rink from last year. He had a good outing, especially yeah. against uh, Darren Dar Burnett. Darren yeah. yeah. One he just missed out in the next round as well. Did. Is it Les? Yeah, I think yep. he was, yeah. Yeah. Says, but I'm sure that says there's loads of room down there. Yeah. Draw to the red ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Safe line. I don't think will be draw. overly bothered, really. Yeah. Two shots, Joy and Chan. Good strength again. Zero two after the first end. <coughs> Jack length twenty seven and a half meters. I was dropping in and out of the second game, Jess. That looked like a game of two halves. Yes, uh, I mean the the New Zealand pair played very well. I think the difference was. Mm. Um, in the second set, Chris Carswell just upped the consistency, I think, which uh, is a massive thing for two both okay. pairs. Yeah. Start. Well, I've like been teaching him this in okay. season. <laughs> I'd have believed you if it was five foot away. <laughs> Yes, he is, yeah. One green.
角度幾好啊，體力。幾好啊，俾緊你，手都後邊。Yes, we have to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 你想我破啊？揸咗呢边啦，绝呢度容易赢到佢啊！睇力水，叻仔啊！睇力啊！紧要啊！留紧，留意个角度，线攞得几好啊 ！Yeah. Hey. Bit of good line with his first, yep. just a couple of yards heavy. Likes this one, I think. Yeah. Alright. It's just flicking off. Oh, nearly. Just dipped at the end, isn't it, as the pace came yeah. off? One shot, Choi and Chan. Let's have a look at Jason's player profile. He's actually 29. Set score. Thought he looks slightly younger than that, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. Plays uh, out of the Kowloon Cricket Club. Some nice clubs over there, isn't there? There's a lot yeah. of money in, involved. Likes Japanese food and coffee. Hobbies cycling and temping bowling. No idea. Well, some of their outdoor greens are quite pushy, so that'll do well there, aren't they? Length 28 metres. A lot from his experience last year, I've no doubt. He started off very steady here. Luck in pace. Yeah. A fairly sizable difference in appearances between the two pairs. If we're not out, yes, that would be at least what 40, 40 between David and well, probably more, wouldn't it? 45 between David and Mervyn combined. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Yeah. Mervyn, Mervyn King's son's playing tomorrow. That's right. Sam. <coughs> Qualified with Jack Wells. Jack Wells, yeah, from the Huntingdon Bulls Club.
I'm drawing a draft for it. Irvin was looking at Dave playing another tackling ball down there to try and run the ball, but he's, I think he's only played one draw ball so far. <laughs> yeah, I just want to get your pace, don't you? Settle here. Not a mile away. Get it back. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> sure, the Hong Kong pair will be extremely happy with the start. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a good start. Oh, well played. What a great ball. Three shots, King and Gourlay. Big turnaround, that. Set score 3-3 three, three after three ends. Those killer balls in this two ball format. Yep. I mean, if they've gone 5 0 behind there, Jacqueline. chasing in the centre. 24 and a half metres. Well. Short length, 23, 24 metres. It's it's quick out there. Yeah, about 18, 90 seconds each, roughly. Just fluctuate, won't it, as people start coming in. Certainly see the, the stands fall over over the next year or two as well, Jason. It was a bit of a mass exodus this morning as the guests were changing over, but seeing a lot of people checking in. Certainly more in this afternoon. Yeah, normally Fridays and Mondays, isn't it, as the changeover day for the packages. So yeah, as people start arriving on the resort, it's it's totally full. I think it's all sold out. So be good. Definitely. Just slightly more awkward with the rail strikes, I think, at the moment. Yeah. Just to hold up, he's played another. Jack in the ditch. So he was, yeah. 
better not start that with that when he plays with me. <laughs> I'll tell him. <laughs> well, needs to miss the front. Oh. Okay, okay. That's not the worst. Alright, mate. One in there now. Yeah, we'll get another one close there because he's got the same shot again. Two balls. Couple. Go again. Play the split. Same hand, I think. Forehand underneath the jack. Two balls could make three. Two shots, King and Gourley. <laughs> Set score 5 3 after four ends. <laughs> it's one of his little mannerisms, Ken, when I play with him a lot. You know, he, he runs, he, he'll always go and get the map for you or pass you a bowl. He's, he's, uh, he's such a great laugh to play with. He has his own little quirkiness. Jack length, 25 metres. Two good conversion balls by David's turn there, set in its head. Could have been 5 0 down. And Mervyn, my third. Out of here if he's up. Definitely up. Oh, he's played a cracker here, you know. Well played. Yeah. Yes. Stayed up. <coughs> he looked as if he was going to be heavy there. Robert. I alter much, really, I can't. Turn it to the left. 
any time to come. A lot of the players seem to be going with slightly narrower bias. Just swinging quite a lot out there. Yeah, that's uh, the general consensus. I spoke, uh, obviously Mark was co uh, commentating this morning. And as, as you know, Mark's ball go-to is, is a tiger, isn't it? But even he said he'd just dropped down. Uh, slightly narrower bowl as the event goes on I think we may just see that change back to the stronger ones I mean Jason's profile says he plays with Drake's pride but I notice he's playing with a Taylor Ace there he's got good strength get limping Favour two, yeah. Yeah, favour the favour the second. Yeah. Two shots. Two shots. Chan and Choi. All square. Don't forget, if you can't stay with us all day, you can keep up to date yeah, with scores all the five scores five five ends. and uh, news articles either on our mm -hmm. Facebook page or also on our website, which is worldbowlstour.org. Uh, regular news updates going on there. We've got a little, few little fun and games to come on the Facebook as well. We've got a little game we're going to play between the pairs partners. Length 26.5 metres. Uh, I'm sure to say Paul will beat you at it because it's, it's about finesse. Oh, definitely. <laughs> More than a China shot, mate. I saw that at the buffet table. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they put us in a high chair. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great ball. All, all four are playing really well. They are, yeah, it's a very high standard game. You're there, or you're down to the same ball, fall back. It's up to you. Good night. Hurry up. Hurry, hurry. Two good balls for not getting the shot, isn't it? <laughs> One green.
there and give himself a chance with his last ball. I think if he sits his back ball, he'll almost get the shot. Yeah. One shot, Choi and Chan. Set score five six after six ends. Eight and a half meters. Lacking as well. One red.
before this. Let's just have a look down that other hand, see whether he's got a shot at that um, green ball. Needs to get another one closer again. It's given him that chance of removing that ball. I know it's not an easy shot to play that kind of pace just round the ball, but I mean it's a couple of chances if he wants to go up through the, the last green ball, he's got three three of his own red to come in as well. But from that angle it is tight, isn't it? What happens if I get the front balls? Nothing. If I get the front balls. I'm tight and get front balls. Okay, sorry. <coughs> <coughs> well, does he bend back in time? It's a really good effort. Yeah, that was a good effort. It's a difficult one. One shot, King of Gourley. <laughs> Set scores, 6-6 six, six after seven ends. Well, square. <laughs> Have you decided what you're playing with, Revs? I think so, yeah. Which, it's a bit of a change because I'm I'm used to playing with a scoop grip, so obviously I'm going to zigzag zig grip and I've dropped down half a size, so but they're just slightly better on there. Grips aren't a massive, massive importance to be honest. I suppose it depends on how you hold the ball in your hand, isn't yeah, it? I guess. Fat sausage fingers, nothing really matters really, just <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> but no, they definitely, definitely seem to be playing a better line at this stage. Well, that's but a good start, as you said earlier, by next Wednesday when it gets to the singles, I could be needing to go back to the, the groove Jim. again. Oh, groove, sorry. Jim. <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> Jim's a man's name. <laughs> to go back to the... There was a pause there. <laughs> I, have to, I have to really tell myself, just two meals of the four a day. Any two of the meals. <laughs> Why? Telling myself that and still have the three, and then I can say every podcast we do on the boxing day, you say the same thing. And when I get here, your table's right up against the buffet. You're very close. Oh. Okay. I'll play it. Yep, just enough. One green. Slightly unsettling there on the mat there. But I think it's, it might be Ken's baby, I think, in the audience. I'm not sure. Not 
Got a beautiful little daughter called Oni. Probably doubled her pocket money to put him off. I was going to say. She's a cracking little kid. Whenever Red's on the mat, you cry. <laughs> Family. You've pushed here, Jason. Need to run. Why you drive with me? Nice little chance there as well. Tickle on the pickle. Uh, yeah, he's played it. Well played. As I said, you didn't want to be giving David that second chance if you could have got there first. Similar ball for Jason. Two shots, King and Gourley. So a two shot advantage for Set David and Mervyn. Last end. 8 6 after 8 ends. Two sets of 9 ends, remember, for this one. Long discussion with David and Merv there as to what they're going to play here. Playing around 24 metres on that. Looks a bit longer. Twenty five metres. First ball is for Ken. Get in first. North. Probably 18 inches. to give themselves a big chance. Not bad. Just needs good pace either side, doesn't he, really? Yep. Not bad. He might catch his own on the way as well. That's yep. The ball. Two green.
haven't seen anything other than a draw here from Dad. Don't think you're sure what to play, are you? <clears throat> Looking at getting at least a good second, no? I mean, you're the author of the book of game management, after all. Have you seen it, have you? <laughs> Just needs to clear the grain and he's close. Yeah, he's very good. Well, this will put the pressure on, won't it? I mean, if you can just make sure this counts the two to tie the set. Yeah. Still has that little extra bullet at the end. Well, this bit looks all right. Is he running? Just lacking 18 inches. One green. Can you move off the line, Ken? <laughs> See you on again. Get his way through here. He looks yeah. close to that front ball. If he is, Jason's got a shot for the ball for the two. Either draws for the two or he's got a little shot down inside of the red. I mean, the, the, dr the draw shot, I think, is a simpler shot. I, mean, I can see what you mean, just down underneath. So that's difficult with that pace that you require isn't it what he doesn't want to do is go in between he just needs to make his decision what he's yes. going to play and he is thinking a lot about it forehand he's playing the forehand to be just Playing the draw, just try and guarantee a, a set tie. Well, he's certainly on a line for it. Not so sure he's running again, though, is he? He's further. He's nearly done this. He needs to stand up, and he's in. He's well, in. He has as well. Right? Great yes. ball. Yeah. Two shots, Chad and Choi, first set, tie. Brilliant. So half a point each for that. In the big scheme of things, I think it's probably a fair result for that first set. It wasn't it much between both of them, was there? Let's have a little look at what we have for the rest of today then. So shortly following this game around a quarter to four will be Ruti Gilor and uh, Svika Hada from Israel. They face the young Welsh pair of uh, Damien Dubler and Dan Salmon and this evening. Former winners of this title, Mark Dawes and Jamie Chesley, will face Jamie Walker and Perry Martin. Don't forget, we're with you five games each day for the first seven days. It's fully streamed on our YouTube and Facebook social media platforms. And then we'll be joined by David Corkle and his Jack team at the BBC from meters. a week on Monday from the World Open Pairs final. So your choice. Lots of ways to see live bowls. It's always great to be back with you. Thanks for joining us.
When's your game, David? Tomorrow morning. Is yeah. it second game? Second game tomorrow, yeah. And you play the, what I call now the Pizza Brothers. Scott Mazzoni and Frank Napoli. Oh, yeah. Two great pizza names. <laughs> There are still some day tickets if you want to come and watch on a particular day. Oh, just uh, catching his own good balls. What's your thoughts on Jason after that first set? I mean, it was it was a very steady set to be fair, wasn't it? By mm. by all four players. Yeah. I mean, David actually played you know two or three really big balls you know early on in that set. It's consistency then, I would say the long, the longer David's in any event, the stronger he gets because I think he just doesn't play a lot of balls. But neither does Ken, to be fair. You know, I think, I think he's only played maybe eight or nine uh, games of balls indoors since the last time. Yeah. But David just, he just has that natural ability. Some people just have it, don't they? He just has that natural ability just to, to turn up. Yeah. Very methodical as well, isn't he? Everything he does from behind the mat up to the mat is yes. exactly the same yeah. all the time. And it's 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 his thinking as well. You know, he's been head coach and he's he's been in that position for a reason. It's it's tactics and tactics needed at that very difficult point of a game when you're really in a bit of a mess. It's how you get yourself out of something tactically, but also mentally. Yeah. That's why I that's why I like some of the overseas comings. We see a lot of new people. I quite like to, to watch the different styles and tactics you get from different parts of the world as well. A lot of the Asian ballers are very structured, aren't they? Yes. Very similar deliveries. I think it's part of their training. They all go through quite a strict. Tra you know, when you when you're at a at a standard, you, you go through a set a set part of training, and it and it is like you say, it's very rigid. Probably been the worst end of the of the match so far. There's nothing nothing within about 18 inches. Just to tidy this up would be nice. I'm copy Better line, I think. Just like another thing. Yeah. Yeah, scrappy one for the opener. That's close, that one. One shot, Chan and Choi. I think that's just what frustrated David a little bit. And I know Ken's not doing it on purpose because you obviously keep off the centre of the rink, but when he's standing on the mark, David goes through his process behind the mat and then he's yes. having to stop, stop. Isn't he, because of. Set score zero, one after one end. He probably, I don't know if he does, but I, I like to be able to see the mark on the side of the rink, but I don't necessarily use it. It's just yeah, habit. I think it's subconscious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Twenty eight and a half meters. People say you've been playing for years, you should you should know where the edge of the ring is.
Have they always played together, Mervyn and Dave? Well, my my memory's rubbish. For a lot, they've been together for a long time now. I think there's only it's just the two pairings, oh, aren't there, yeah. this year? That's yeah, okay, just slightly slightly different. Les and Wayne. Les and Wayne, and, uh, Jason and Michael Stepney. That's right. Open end. One red. something Jason you might have he has yep. locked in <coughs> we'll get back with the pace Yeah, just wobbled in. He was good with a miss. again. Two shots, Chan and Choi. Same start of the first set, yep. I think, isn't it? It is 3 0, yeah. I think the key, I think the key is just. Zero three and the two ends. They haven't given Merv or David any freebies, have they? I think that's the, the biggest thing in, in two ball pairs. Yes. Not to give daft threes and fours away for nothing. You said David had to play two big conversion balls to make five shots in the first set, otherwise could have, they could have run away with that one as well. Jack length, 28 metres. Have you chosen your walk on music? Yeah, I might have. <laughs> He's like a rubber ball. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm into Hawking. Just try in, thank you. Oh, that took a little <laughs> deviation at the end there. Great opening ball from Ken. Oh, 
Great one, play as well. Don't go more, eh? <clears throat> Making it look easy. I was just about to say that it's funny how the game works sometimes. I mean, the last two ends have probably been the slackest of the match, and Merv couldn't beat sort of two of Ken's balls two foot away, and then he <laughs> puts one within about six inches and draws the shot. Is it? Oh, oh he's he has very, unlucky very unlucky against the bias as well. One green. Kicking himself. <laughs> For all Ken missed with his second ball, he's actually probably in <laughs> yeah. prime position now, isn't he? First ball, do you think? Yep. Oh, oh lucky. Very good effort. Give himself a little bit more room. Yeah. It's just over the pace to try and get to that red ball or if he lifts his own up with the jacks, good. Not a lot of danger of playing it there, Two foot over the draw. Just urging it on. position to this stage in the first set. Played a big ball to make a three. Can you do it again to make a two? That's good. Likes the line. It's close oh, to this, yeah. you know. Needs to bend. <coughs> maybe, a maybe a little bit One quicker shot. than what he wanted. It was a great effort. It's not, a, not an easy shot, is it? Set down score there? zero four after three ends. No. Jack length twenty eight meters.
big hand is. Yeah, we'd rather not be want to be losing another. This is just all the strength. Nerve just hasn't punished them when they have missed. No, no. It's either been a really, really close end with all four balls, but when Nerves had the chances, I don't think he's really peppered the jack. He knows as well, he's, he's looking at him, shaking his head. Strength required, great road again. Shot ball if he's on good pace. Well, may have just limped in, I think. Tighter line, definitely tighter. Doesn't want to get the outside of that red ball. Oh, he's made a point. Thank you. You say Jack in the ditch, but. It's not a massive target, is it? I think you can. It sort of indicates how I think David and Confidence. Merv both know that they're, they're not nailing this because he's got loads of room normally. You just walk away and draw that. But he's, he's looking at that running ball. Fine margins to. The contact on something. Oh, I tell you. Oh. Still two down. Nearly. If he hadn't got the flick on the jack, he was four down. Two shots, Chan and Choi. Well, Chan and Choi, 6 0 now. Set score 0 6. <laughs> In a lot of respects, they've actually they've got away with that. Because if, if he hadn't thinned the jack on the way through, he was 4 down and probably the match had gone 8 0. Jason Choi has qualified in the singles event as well, taking on Paul Foster, MBE. Sits right at the, the bottom of the draw. Jack length, 28 and a half metres. I'm sure we'll be looking forward to that match.
stuff. This is all they need to keep doing, isn't it? Just grinding these ends out now, giving, yep. giving nothing away, and they've and they've got this. David and Merv just need to step it up. Another good thing from Ken as well is he's always finished the right side of the jack. Pass, yeah. In a lot of ways, it's, it's possibly negated a little bit of David's game because he's, he's running balls always been tremendous, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it has. But he's having to think One about great. every shot that he's playing. On the jack. This is not a mile away. Oh, great. great stuff. And then get one. Yeah. Four inches past. Flick. Oh. Yep. Yeah. It's got double bounce. Oh, you Managed to find a line there because I heard Murph saying it's, it yeah, hasn't gone yet. Oh, yes. One red. He thought it was just slightly underneath. Uh, <laughs> there has. I was, we spoke about this. Was it yesterday? There has always been two lines down that backhand. Okay. But, but if you play that narrower line, you've always had to have that correct yeah. pace. I think he just found that little line. Should be some ball from Jason if he could play it. Take a lap jack round the corner for four. I don't think David would have much of a shot if he did, neither. Out of his hand. I guess he'll see you can get you out, man. Yes, mate, yeah. Get into that, into that split and Put an electric fence down that line every time someone starts on it. <laughs> it zaps him. <laughs> He's got that line again. Just needs to nestle into the split, doesn't he? Is he going to go back down in time? Oh, now he's safe. One shot, King and Gorley. Be an Set score one, one mm. six after five ends. Mm. 
that's not. <laughs> oh, shot. Anybody who's unlucky enough to play with me, you know, I would be standing up that top end now and there'd be some swear words going behind my hand with that jack. It's a massive and a thing for them, isn't it? Because they needed to change something and they've got the opportunity to change it with a mat up lost the jack and it's gone straight back to Ken and Jason's length again. Yeah, you, you kind of get it sometimes. If you're trying to play a short 23 metres, it's, it's very precise and it's very yeah. difficult. A long 23 metres, especially for this setup that we have, your three metre tees, technically, as long as you land the jack into any of those bits of three metres, you should be safe. Yeah. Merv's, Merv's just played that ball off the back of the frustration of losing that jack. Yeah. There is a little line there that if you if you're not over the top of it, it, it drags you right across. It's a great ball. Yeah. All it can do is just keep putting the pressure on, making David play the shots. Fortunately, all he's got to the draw. Two green. David's far away from that cutting line as well, you know. It's gone as well. Oh dear. Well, a bit of bother, especially if Jason can just put another one in. Yard anywhere around it, really. Yes. Get top of this jack, David hasn't got a shot to play. <coughs> oh, great, that was a great chance for David still. Better line. Yep. Definitely a wider. All about pace. Well, I think that's bad neither. Oh, what a ball. Got it. What a ball. Not yet. One. Okay. Well, a big sigh of relief One there from both Mervyn and David. Absolutely. Um, Jason's first ball. If he'd managed to get the same result David's got there, there wouldn't have been a thing for him.
be doing anything rash here, would you? Nope. Scoreline one's okay, isn't it? <laughs> then again. <laughs> I, shot, I, didn't, King and goal, I didn't really get that. There was very little percentage in. I mean, you could have hit the target and still not. You, you were never guaranteed you were going to get the shot. No. Two, six. And I think with the scoreline and the way he's playing, the playing well, don't start losing your weight exactly, by yeah. playing, you know, flashing at it for no particular reason, I think. If, if David's ball had had any sort of gap to the jack yeah. and gap to the ball where it could have gone out clean, then that would be fair enough. But I don't think it was going anywhere. He was, he was relying on trying to get a ball up to the jack. And then still needed a result. Yeah. <coughs> but they're still in control of the set. Jack length, 27 and a half metres. Still just giving Ken that chance, hasn't he, just to get one in. Just he's just lost his way a little bit the second, so we know we know how good Merv is. It's just uh in one side or the other. For a well point. Well done. Well done. Bye. That. How many times have we seen ends like this score? Yes. Score well, twos and threes. And I, said, I said that first game when I was with Mark, I said, you know, when I think it was Sam and Louis needed the four in the last end, I said, many big counts are created from a scrappy end. Yeah. It's a really big ball, this for Jason. Doesn't want to be leaving himself lying three, uh, two or three down with his last ball. He's chasing a little bit as well. Yeah, Lower yeah. pressure on this last yeah. ball if David makes this count. Sure, a lot of people will be sitting there going, "Ha, oh, he's got loads of room." Sure, <laughs> this this turns the set around. It's a real high pressure ball, this. and it's even worse because he's got loads of room to get in. If he yes. had three or four inches, you could excuse him for missing. But he's <laughs> I'll send him to you if he misses. <laughs> Yeah. 
This could be a, a match winner if he draws it. He doesn't look bad. He's certainly a better strength. Oh, he's played a great ball, eh? Played a great oh, ball. Yes. Well played. <laughs> well played. That's enough for shot. One shot, Chan and Choi. Yep, it was a good pressure ball, like you what? say. I always said they're the, they're the awful ones to play. It's seven, like when people, people put the jack minutes. in the ditch and you've got about 19 yards to draw the shot. You stand there and more pressure because everybody expects you to get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awful shots. <laughs> <laughs> you say to yourself, oh, I'll just give myself four foot to play with and you let go of it and you go, oh no, <laughs> that's close to the edge. <laughs> Jack length, 28 metres. Well, five in two ends is impossible. is isn't, but they haven't really looked as if they've had that chance to make five in two ends over the set, have they? Apart from a couple of loose ends. Merv's, Merv's two balls here are going to be the key. Doesn't help when Ken puts one close like this. I play it. Good line again. I like two great balls here. Well played. Yep. <laughs> Certainly played well, Can. I know he's sat, I think he's sat number 21 in the world ranking list at the moment, I think. It's been no fluke, this. Two balls, you've played really well. argue David and Merv maybe haven't been right up to their usual standard but I think it's because the two lads have not allowed them to really. Yeah, good call. Anything just up by the red ball I think. Yeah. Giving him his training and thanking him for his trust. <laughs> See David just looking at the score and trying to figure out how he's going to get himself out of this, I think. <laughs> yeah. Help. Well, he doesn't want to make it wider. I want to bend a long way away from it now, not to make a massive target. Yeah. I think he's got it. He said it's do or die. I think yeah, at this it's stage. Under as well. He needs a bit of luck here. Well, it's imperative. Jason finishes past the jack now. David's a stop down, you can't see it in the picture there, but it's... About a foot from the edge? It is, yeah. Just split the two red balls, that's all he's got to do. Well, that's a much better line for it. Hangs a little bit out there as well, which will help. <laughs> this doesn't look bad at all. Yeah, great ball. Not bad. Well, 
trouble is the bowl the bowl away isn't isn't good enough, is it? No. I mean, you've only got this five or two ends to play, so he needs to score, you know, at least a one. Yeah. So it's the jack or nothing, really. Still looks under to me, is he? No, oh, he's got it. He's got it. Well played. Excellent bowl. Two, two shots, for David So, final end of the second set. To David and Mervyn require set score two. Four, seven. After Three. eight ends. <laughs> Three, Dave. Take it to a tiebreaker, yeah. It's not impossible. Two ball pairs. Jack length 27 metres. They were lying the three the last time in this direction, weren't they, before Jason's last ball? That's right, yes. Yes, Mervyn. Nice and easy. Good start, Mervyn. Well played. That's the best start Mervyn's had for seven or eight ends. From Mervyn, big chances. Like it? Not bad again, I don't think. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Good airport, so okay. <laughs> I'm not sure whether they like that or not. His line's certainly good enough. Come on, Ken. Oh, he's played a cracker, eh, you know. Second ball, yep. he's great, well played. Nice position as well. One red. You certainly can't tell by his facial, ex facial expression whether he likes it or not. He's so, <laughs> so animated. Well, David's got to put two within about a foot. Thanks there. Night. Not bad. Hi, David. Yep, there's one of them. So there he is. Good. 
second part doesn't look a mile away. Oh, what a good ball this is. It is a great ball. Still a chance. Either way, it's just giving David less and less room, is it, just to slot that, that needed ball in. I mean, that's a lot difficult now because if he catches that, he gets nothing for it. So he's got to be really precise. Yeah, it's a blind draw as yeah. well, he can't see it. It's pretty much exactly the same yeah. ball as what he played, isn't yeah. it? Just hope he gets down to the... A whole four inches here for David. This is gonna. This will be some bowl if he draws. Definitely. That looks tighter. That looks tighter than his first. Got a bit of extra pace. He's got it. Oh, oh he's got it. Yes, as well. Wow. Yeah. Extra two and a half foot of pace has kept him right in there. Wow. That divine help that he was looking up at uh, the board earlier on. I didn't see it with that pace. No? I mean, to, to get three out, you know. He was, he was a good foot tight in his first draw. Yeah, held a long way, yeah. Dear me. What a ball. Just hit the pack, isn't I it? I mean, if you hit the pack, surely you can't be still three down. No. I don't think the angle's there to get both of his own balls. He's just got to make contact. Just, you just got to keep it simple, and to just play pretty direct. Don't give the chance. Don't give the ball a chance to, to deviate. Just steady the ship. Hit the target. Close. Oh, oh what, what a ball. ball that is. <laughs> Two shots, second set, and the match. Fantastic ball. Point. Well, we've just been shown a great masterclass of top class balls there, I think, David. Oh, man, you, you, you lie in bed on a night before your match and say, if I can stick the jack on the ditch, last <laughs> ball of my first appearance at Potter's, I will be ecstatic. Uh, well, yeah, I wouldn't quite put it that way, but it's been <laughs> an absolute fabulous display of balls yeah. from the pair from Hong Kong. They Tremendous. will see themselves into the <laughs> quarter final of this World Open pairs. I have to compose myself now with that comment. Right, so what we're coming up next in the next 10 minutes, then we have uh, Ruti Gilo and Svika Hada from uh, Israel taking on Damien Dubler and Dan Salmon from Wales. And then for your entertainment this evening at 7 30, Mark Dawes and Jamie Chesney will face Jamie Walker and Perry Martin. We'll be back with you in around about 10 minutes. Bye bye for now.